A lot of people don't understand these are not equipment to us, they're our babies. Judy was actually born on April Fools. I met Judy over at Spain Island Air Base over in Germany, and Judy just did nothing but growl at me. He pulled me everywhere, didn't listen, bit me a few times. I bribed him with beef jerky once we became friends, and he never left my side. Slept in the ground with me, stayed in the kennel with me, stayed everywhere with me every time we deployed. It's that kid with ADD. There's no pills for dogs, so we started working how to make it enjoyable. People would laugh when I worked because I'd make all the high-pitched noises, started getting all excited, trying to get him back focused. But whenever he was on odor, he was on odor very well. My ex-wife was actually in between my legs with a digital camera doing a high-speed photo attack. And I put the my sleeve on my left arm, and when I caught him, I turned, and my, I wasn't paying attention where my, le my left ankle was. It was actually right, right in her ribs. So I turned, started here, turned all the way around, face that way, and I got 15 screws in metal plate. The biggest scar that I have from him is actually, I know that sounds cheesy, but actually in my heart, because I really miss him. Every day I wake up thinking about him. He actually has a memorial in my house right now. We have, we still to this day have one of the top Within the top 10, I can say top 10 weapons find, it was over 500 AKs. He went to go to the bathroom, started smelling the ground where he was going to go, and then he just sat. I thought he just had to go to the bathroom. I started to pull him. EOD was there like, what's wrong with your dog? I went, I don't know what's wrong with him. And I pulled him again. He wouldn't leave. He growled at me. I said, there's something here, and they started digging it up. And a day later, they found this whole huge metal box with all these guns in it. We believe those weapons were going to go to the insurgents and it saved, it saved the local air base. We were looking for one individual. He was an IED bomb maker. We went to the very first house. We cleared that. Everything was fine. We went to the second house. We cleared that. It was fine. Then it was my turn to clear the final house. We all came together, and we were prepping for the, the next room. Kicked in the door. I looked to the right, and I didn't see the guy behind me. There was a gun to the back of my neck, and he pulled the trigger, and I heard a click. I should be dead. Judy, without skipping a beat, turned around and attacked him. Bit his arm, threw him on the ground. So Judy did save my life that day. And that was our last mission that me and him ever went on. And that was on my, that was on my second tour to Iraq. But Judy saved my life. I believe it was not for Judy, I would be dead right now. And Judy never recovered. We stopped doing missions. We were, I went home a couple weeks later. So, so I, my proudest moment ever was with, with Judy was actually bringing him home. It was unique for the first couple of days, but then I had a cat that just beat him up and he loved life. My daughter Kaylin gave him his reward the very first day. I said, come on, sweetheart. He's not gonna give it back. He goes, she goes, yeah, he will. He loves me. Okay, get it back. And she went out. And he just spit it out halfway across the room, and I just, she just told you, he loves me. Ever since then, he punked me. And he laughed, and he enjoyed life, and he just ran around. So now, that was a running joke in our house for the longest time. My dog, my dog listened to my daughter more than he listened to me. We had him at home just under two years. Came downstairs, and he was just laying there. And I said, no, I just called him over to go to the bathroom. He just laid there. Called him again, didn't want to get up. Lay down with him on my side. He just looked at me in his eyes, and he gave. He, I knew he was done. He was tired. He just, he just wanted to go home. So it was very hard. Judy has found over four thousand pounds of explosives. He has saved over a million lives, and he has touched more lives than he's saved. So, I miss Judy. We all miss our dogs.